Greetings, Dave Rex. Anonymous here. We've been getting a lot of questions lately on the interwebs about the Makashi Sundog exercise. And uh, to answer them in short order, right away, um, yes, they are kind of like shadow boxing. So they're not really a set pattern or routine. Um, we do have set patterns of footwork that we can use and we'll be putting together certain, certain combinations and stuff like that and putting it out um, in the future here. Um, but I'll kind of just go through like some of the basics since we haven't done too much on it out there. Um, basically you take all of those little pieces from the primer and you put them together. And um, you kind of put them together in different, different phrases. Um, the first way I would suggest um, starting, and you can see this as level one on the, on the uh, accelerations video, um, is basically moving with your footwork <clears throat> into different guards and using the spheres and positions, nadir and zenith, to create uh, movements and uh, combinations, right? Keeping the footwork very, very simple with pivots and hut slides at first. You can then move up to circle steps and then um, other complicated things you know, as you, as you progress through the exercise and learn some of the exercises from the other forms, or the other first forms. Um, <clears throat> so my tips for, for people doing it is to really just focus on your three guards, your three spheres, and your footwork. Because really what it is, is it's a footwork drill. Since you don't have an opponent, you're not gonna be reacting to anybody. So you want to try to, at one time, practice combinations that are gonna be reliable for you, but at the other time, kind of experiment with things and really get good at, at doing things that may be um, difficult for you at first. Um, so that, that's kind of where that exercise is coming from. Um, with the blade work, you can get complicated with the blade work. Um, putting strikes other than Shim and Shiak in there becomes a little bit um, tricky because you can't do follow throughs very well in this set or in this form <clears throat> because it leaves you quite open. And unlike a lot of the other forms, we are assuming that there is one person who is probably standing in front of us. Um, and so that is the idea. Now, why we are turning and why we may go behind the back and come around and all that is that we also understand that if we're fighting one person, the likelihood of them staying in one place is very unlikely. Um, so we are expecting somebody to try to surround us, outflank us, box us in, doing something, and we want to practice our footwork and our blade work. The most important thing about the blade work here is we want to keep it right in front of us, right? So that's where a little bit of Suresu, a little bit of Otaru is going to start bleeding in to uh, some of the concepts here. Um, when we are trying to put in a side strike, for example, um, you can't just do that. Well, I suppose you could, but it's unlikely that you that you <laughs> will choose to do that. Um, rather, if you let it, let the strike follow through just with a little minor orbit, just like that, you can actually link up many uh, strikes and cuts in a row. <clears throat> um, linking that up with footwork, so if I'm going here, one, to there, <clears throat> right? So focusing just on the very, very simple aspects of it, trying to get stuff in, fit into the, uh, the framework that you have while still maintaining creativity, it's a difficult type thing to do. So as we always say, stick to basic stuff, very, very simple, try to go for a few, you know, a few seconds at first, right? Link up some stuff. Find combinations that you actually like and try to memorize them. Write them down, memorize them. Try to get them for rote so that you can actually do them when they don't feel right, when they 
when they're not coming out naturally, because that's really where we, where the rubber meets the road as far as technique goes, and we get into sparring. <clears throat> so, all right, just a little uh, briefer on the uh, Sun Dog. Hopefully, that's answered some questions. Um, join us on Facebook on the Learners in Exile forum. There, ask any questions here. Ask them down in the uh, down in the uh, comments here. Hopefully, I am trying to get better at uh, figuring out how I'm. How, how I can respond to everybody, but until then, um, put your questions down there, come to Facebook, see us, go to any of our forums up on IRA or Sabre Forum, any of that, ask your questions and uh, we'll see if we can't get to them. So, until next time, have a great day and happy Sabre.